Again, I'd like to welcome everyone to 10 mind-blowing stats that illustrate why dentists need to be marketing on Facebook. Let's go ahead and get started. So here's a question for you. What do 1.59 billion people do every day? And the answer is use Facebook. Um, when it comes to social media, Facebook is the platform of choice, even after all of the um, you know, scandals that happened last year, they're actually still growing. Um, so wouldn't it make sense to capitalize on the company's unprecedented access to potential new patients with Facebook marketing? Yes. So here are 10 stats that illustrate why dental practices should be marketing on Facebook. First one is 79% of online adults use Facebook. So Facebook started out as you know, mainly t targeting college students and teens is just kind of a platform where people could communicate. Um, but it's definitely matured. Um, Facebook actually has one of the broadest demographics and people available to them. So anyone from age 13 to, I mean, really 70 or, uh, you know, even seniors are using Facebook. Um, so chances are that potential patients, no matter what age they are, are on Facebook right now looking for a dentist. Reaching them in an, uh, with an engaging business page and a highly targeted ad can be done rapidly within your budget, which delivers a fast return on your marketing investment. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Facebook and how it actually impacts referrals um, specifically. So people are accustomed to asking for and providing recommendations on Facebook, including those for dentists, right? So that means that your existing patients or anyone that follows you on Facebook can tag your practice in their friends' posts when they're asking for a recommendation. And what Facebook does is it actually highlights, it tells you the person is looking for recommendations, where they're looking for it, and then it actually creates this big post for them on the newsfeed so their friends can actually, it's a lot easier to spot and chime in. And I've actually seen posts on my own feed just for my personal experience um, where there are as many as 15 recommendations on a post like this of 15 different dentists. So what happens is um, a friend will see this, comment on it, and if you have a Facebook page, they are able to search and find you and actually tag you directly in the comments. So that already provides a lead for you. Um, so that's really one powerful way that Facebook can be used. And it's really very unique to Facebook. I don't, you know, Twitter and Instagram don't do this type of thing. It's really just something that happens within Facebook. Um, so another way that you can leverage organic and paid posts is by collecting and sharing positive reviews on your page. So Facebook is this sort of hybrid between a local business listing and social media, just a straight social media profile or platform. So on Facebook, you guys have all seen this, you can collect reviews, right? And they'll appear in search results alongside Google and all of that. But what you can actually do on Facebook is you can then, once somebody shares a review, um, you can share it onto directly onto your page so that you can boost it even more for people that are already following you. So that's one way that you could actually leverage the, rec or the reviews that you're already getting. Um, you can also do different types of advertising and one quick and dirty way of doing it is to boost. So there's actually something called boosting a post on Facebook, which basically just the way it works is you have existing posts or content on your Facebook page. So like say you have a promotion for teeth whitening and if you want to reach people that are outside of your follower base, then you just hit boost and you tell Facebook to reach a certain demographic for $5 for 24 hours, right? So then that boosts it and allows you to broaden your audience, even to people that don't already follow your page. So it's just kind of a, a quick way to get your promotions and content out there and even gain more followers if you need them. Um, so that's, and it, it's very cost effective, really. I, you know, it, you can throw as much as you want, but like, you know, five to $10 is more than enough. Um, okay, moving on. Let me just make sure. Oh, my mistake. I did not pause this. I am so sorry. There we go. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Um, so let's go back to 
the slide with the referral. So here we go. Sorry, this is going to make a lot more sense now. Uh, you can see here, here's a recommended post, right? Here is someone that's commenting on their friend's news feed or post um, and tagging the actual doctor. And I do want to point out with reviews, it'll show your average review rating down here. So this 4.7 is an average review rating. So if you collect reviews on your Facebook page, they'll be shown here as well along with your address. So again, this is how people can actually leverage um, or how you can leverage Facebook with your existing patients and followers to help you reach people that are looking for a dentist then and there. Um, okay. All right, so moving on. Uh, stat number two. 72% uh, of online users who make over 75K per year are on Facebook. So why this matters? If you seek patients who value quality dentistry and are willing to pay for it, Facebook users are likely candidates. If the social media platform, of all social media platforms, this audience is the most affluent and with an income more of more than 70K per year, you can tap into the ideal patient demographics for your practice. So I'll give you an example. You know, there's a lot of cosmetic procedures that you probably want to promote, but aren't covered by insurance for whatever reason. So this would be a really good way to reach people that are more open to cosmetic procedures and willing to pay for it. Um, so that's one thing you could uh, use Facebook for. All right, um, stat number three, um, Americans spend 58 minutes per day on Facebook. And that's, I think that's a very conservative estimate. I know that I spend a lot more than that. So why that matters is patients are constantly bombarded with noise from junk emails to, to group texts to online videos, which play automatically. So capturing their attention is actually very hard. So with 58 dedicated, dedicated minutes a day, Facebook marketing allows you to engage users when they are in a more relaxed and receptive uh, frame of mind. So if they're just scrolling through their feed, they're just kind of taking a break from their daily you know, activities and just life, um, they're more likely to be receptive to your information. All right, moving on to stat number four is um, 50 million businesses have Facebook pages, and that includes a lot of dentistry. So you're, it's very likely that your competitors already have one. So why it matters, Facebook experience is all about connecting with friends, family, and businesses in a relaxed environment. When your practice is there with an active Facebook page, it builds brand awareness with prospective patients, especially if they tag you in their friends' recommendations. And when your practice isn't there, it diminishes brand awareness and expectations for your practice, and it leaves room for the competition. Like I said, they probably already have a Facebook page. So I do want to drive the point of um, when your practice isn't there, it diminishes brand awareness. At this point, you know, it's 2019, people kind of expect you to have a Facebook page. So it's actually you know, a little unusual to have a page or find a page for your practice that doesn't, isn't filled out, doesn't have photos, doesn't have any content or reviews because Facebook is actually a really good way for people to like reach out to you and ask you questions. And, um, you know, Facebook has been developing a lot over the last year to make it easier for businesses to message and talk to people that are trying to engage with them as with direct messages. So, um, people are utilizing that and not having a Facebook page makes it really, you know, difficult for people to reach out to you because they, it's in their mind, an instant way to reach out to you for like what a simple question. And it's a way for you to sort of qualify whoever's talking to you, whether they're, you know, an existing patient that just has uh, an information, you know, wants information about something billing, you can give them your contact information directly on there and have them speak to you directly over the phone or whatever it is. Um, or, um, you know, if it's a potential patient, then you can direct them to the appropriate pages on your website if they want to learn more about services in general or just talk to you directly. So it's really just kind of expected at this point that you have one as well. Um, okay, so a pro tips on building brand awareness. Um, 
So building brand awareness outside of Facebook is important too, because you increase the likelihood of being found by users that prefer other platforms. So while Facebook does have a broad range of users, you know, some people prefer different types of uh, platforms. It's just a personal preference situation. So um, this allows you to um, be recognized everywhere, you know, and anywhere on the internet, whether you're um, on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it may be. So if just a couple of tips to build brand awareness, you wanna give your social presence and personality. Followers want to see more than promos and links. They want personal human centric content. Um, I know there's, a, a, there's this office I remember here for kids dentistry um, and their whole aesthetic is like this comic book superhero and I, the name escapes me right now but like I just remember the branding right they have this comic book superhero and it's this superhero with a toothbrush in hand and it's just it looks like a really fun colorful um you know sort of presence and that's what I remember so even though I personally don't need any kids dentistry at this moment I remember that right so it, that gives it that's a personality that they've chosen to take on with their brand and it makes them very memorable. Um, you also want to fine tune your profiles. So when followers glance at your social profile, they should be able to understand what you're about and they should recognize uh, that you're you. So um, that really just comes down to having a brand and having it be consistent across all profiles, whether that's you know a specific color palette, again, going back to the kids dentistry example, I always see the superhero, I know exactly who that is, I know exactly what they're about. Um, I've just associated that brand with them. And so no matter where I look, whether it's their Instagram, their Facebook, Twitter, I know who I'm talking to. Um, and then the other thing is, as you're posting content on your Facebook, you want to make your posts pop. So selecting colorful illustrations and videos instead of generic stock photos on your post is preferred. And if you want more posts, then there's a link down here to our source for Sprout Social. They give a lot of good tips on how to build the brand. Um, next stat, 57% of consumers said that so social media influences their shopping. So why it matters, social, uh, sorry, Facebook marketing can showcase your expertise while building a rapport with existing and prospective patients. A strong Facebook business page with glowing reviews, educational articles, enticing offers, builds confidence and familiarity, all of which leads to more businesses for your practice. So really what this is speaking to is just building trust that you know, and just building a connection with somebody um, by, you know, um, having testimonials or reviews on your page, people are vouching for you. So you're trustworthy. If you have educational articles, it conveys your expertise and knows. So people, you know, people still don't trust dentists sometimes. So conveying your expertise can help sort of ease any sort of anxiety they might have for whatever reason. Um, and then, of course, promotional offers are always a good way to reel people in and actually push them to um, sign up or, or sign up as a patient with your practice. Um, okay, so next stat. 78% of American consumers say they've discovered products on Facebook, myself included. So Americans use Facebook to find services they need. If your practice isn't on Facebook, prospective patients will find your competitors instead. You may not think of Facebook as a search engine, but it is. Uh, type in dentist near me and see the results by strategically marketing your practice on what is arguably the biggest social media platform you can drive awareness and demand and create demand for services you provide. So. One thing I will speak to, and I just want to add a little color to this one. Um, you know, everyone uses Facebook, and there, I'm sure you've seen it. You've seen advertisements for things that you may be interested in. And one of the things that Facebook really has over any other platform is their targeting. So their advertise with their advertisements. So there's a lot of different things that you can target with Facebook: uh, demographics, preferences, likes. Uh, you know, if they are, if people are associated with like specific pages and people and like, it's, it, there's a lot of different ways to target on Facebook. And what that does is it actually kind of helps you sort of hone in on the type of people that you're looking for and really specify the audience that you're trying to attract. 
And um, on the receiving end, I'll just tell you from personal experience, there have been quite a few things that like I have had advertised to me on Facebook. And because the targeted is so specific, it's effective. Like I've bought things off of Facebook just then and there because it was just so targeted and it piqued my interest. So that's something that's very unique to Facebook. And um, if you can bet that if you're not doing it yourself, your competitors are probably dabbling in it and creating advertisements to specifically target their, their prospective patients. All right, next stat, 42.2% um, of people like or follow a page so they can get an exclusive offer. So um, another advantage of having a Facebook page, you can bring in new patients by posting exclusive offers. Um, if you're worried about price shoppers, make the offer uh, for large cases such as Invisalign or dental implants. We suggest posting one special offer or treat for every three to four routine content posts to show the love to your page followers. So the point is there is just not to overwhelm people with promotions. It shouldn't be, your content on your page shouldn't be exclusively promotions, but it's a good idea to include that content on your page. Um, Okay, so next stat, 30% of marketers think Facebook offers the highest digital ad ROI. Um, why it matters, if you've heard the old adage, it's uh, half of the money I spend advertising is wasted, but the trouble is I don't know which half. So um, fortunately with Facebook marketing uh, and pay-per-click Facebook ads, which is a larger type of campaign, your return investment can be is not only measurable but lucrative when correctly done with specific keywords and messaging and thanks to facebook's precise targeting abilities like i mentioned before you can ensure the right people see your ad at the optimal time so let's break this down on why this is important one it's measurable because there are ways of tracking who actually started from a facebook ad and may have moved on to your website or called you and what that is, is we call tracking conversions right so whenever someone takes a desired action from your ad there is a way for you to know when that happened and that will be shown in your analytics so if you know how many people took in a desired action from your ad whether that's calling you signing up for something um, visiting a web page liking your page whatever it may be then you know what your return on investment is right um and uh, with, uh, you know, Q or with messaging, with the right messaging, it allows you to sort of refine your messaging to see what will resonate with your audience. Um, and then speaking to targeting abilities, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of different ways that you can target. You can get very specific about who and how you're targeting. So why that's important is because if the right people see your ad, it's more likely that they'll take a desired action from your ad, meaning that you'll have to, won't have to spend as much advertising to people. You know, in extreme contrast to that is um, radio ads, right? You're just kind of playing them and then hope that somebody listens and then hope that somebody calls the number that is in the advertising and then hope that they actually came from that ad or not somewhere else, but you're not really sure, right? Um, so, Facebook is really just the more like extreme example, like opposite of that, so that we can get really granular in who and how you're targeting. Uh, okay, stat number nine. Facebook is still seeing huge growth, roughly six new user profiles per second and 500,000 new user profiles per day. So I know it's hard to believe. Um, that a social media platform with 1.5 billion users could sustain popularity, but it's actually really growing. Uh, Facebook continues to enjoy unlimited growth, and for dentists, that means an ever-increasing reach to prospective patients through marketing. All right, and stat number 10, 1.72 uh, dollars uh, is the average cost per click on a Facebook ad. So there is a I guess uh, a model for advertising on Facebook where if um, your ad is shown to people, it doesn't cost you anything. But if it, people actually click on your ad or interact or engage with your ad, it'll cost you a certain amount, which is what we cost, call a cost per click, right? So um, 
in this case in Facebook ads, it's really cost effective because not only can you really you know, precisely target people, the average cost per click is a lot lower than say Google. Google, I mean, it can vary wildly, but in my experience, you know, it can average around 10 to $14 per click. So, um, so like here, compare that to $37 average cost per online lead in the healthcare industry. So you can see like there's a wide difference there. So if you are advertising on Facebook, then you're more likely to stretch those marketing dollars and you're more likely to attract people that are, you know, more interested in what you have to offer. Okay, so let's just talk about the differences between Facebook ads and a Facebook business page, right? So your Facebook ads, you can choose who sees your ad based on targeted criteria so that you define that as you're building the ad. Um, you can choose devices on where your ads appear. You can choose a specific ad objective and maintain control of the ad so that those objectives could be to, you know, have somebody submit a form to get you uh, a lead through that form submission, to call your office, to claim a promo within a certain time frame. Um, you know, there's different objectives, so you have control over that. Um, and it also, uh, they help you reach people that you haven't already liked or followed your page because your targeting is completely independent of who is already associated in liking and following your page. Um, so you can reach people that you don't, don't already know you. Um, your Facebook page, think of it as kind of like your, um, your dedicated profile for your business within Facebook. So it's the main social hub that talks about your practice. It gives information about your services, um, any offers you have, hours of operation, your phone number, website information, who you are, when you were founded, all of that. It just tells people who you are. It's your identification card on Facebook for your business. Um, and you can regularly post to your page to increase engagement. So just to keep people interested on your page and usually only people who follow or like your page will see your posts um, or sometimes their friends will see that they've engaged with you, but typically it's only people that follow you will see your content. Okay, so um, if you aren't already convinced that you should use Facebook, um, just know that it can increase brand awareness, acquire new patients, and with pro sites, we can actually help you with both Facebook ads and just organic content. So um, well, we can help you actually get noticed by potential patients using all of the practices that I just mentioned, grow brand awareness, increase website traffic, um, get new patient appointments and target the exact audience that you want specifically with Facebook ads, which then therefore maximizes your marketing ROI. So if you're interested and you just don't have the headspace to really do it yourself because it can get a little complicated, please do not hesitate to reach out for a consultation just to learn what you know Facebook can actually do for you specifically. Um, these are our packages. So depending on what you want and how you and what you need for your practice, you know, we do have advanced premium or elite content packages. So this is really just speaking to having content and creating the Facebook presence and your and evolving your Facebook page. So um So it, there are different options depending on what it is that you need and how much um content you need on your page or would desire on your page. And with Facebook ads specifically, there are a lot of components with Facebook ads. You have to set up the ad, create the audience, create the copy for the ads, and then actually have a page that's specifically dedicated for the ad because that will actually help increase your conversions. So um, we offer all of that with our Facebook ad offering. We give you custom ads and landing pages. We figure out the audience targeting for you. Um, we fill in all of the missing information on your Facebook page that is necessary to help you convert. And then we also provide monthly reporting and call tracking so that you know exactly what's going on in the analytics that are going on in your, on your page.
So like I mentioned, don't uh, hesitate to reach out. We do, of course, cover not just social media marketing and management, but search engine optimization, pay-per-click, and then just general website design. So the number's there on your screen. Um, if you need anything, just a consultation, or if you just need some advice on what to do next, just don't hesitate to reach out. Um, okay. So looks like that is it for now. If there are any questions, please uh, feel free to um, ask them in the GoToWebinar panel. I'm gonna hang on for just a minute so that if there are any questions, I can get to them. But for everyone else, thank you so much for joining this afternoon and have a great rest of your day.